Hello, my name is Dmitry and we are continuing our instructional videos for TechnoEC equipment. Previously, we have reviewed the whole menu of AP19 location receiver and today we are going to talk about the settings of AP27 receiver for water leakage location. Let us see what controls and what settings this equipment has for the location of water leakages from the pipe. First of all, uh, we have to see what kind of controls we have on AP27 receiver. You can see a keyboard here. Also, for water leak detection we will need acoustic sensor, which is here, and headphones. First of all, let us press power button and turn on the receiver. You can hear a beep and you will see the software version of uh, your device. After that, you have to connect your headphones and your sensor to the receiver. When you connect the sensor to the receiver, it is automatically detected. You can see this in the top left corner of the screen. Also, you can see that receiver uh, enabled water leakage detection mode, which can be switched to plastic pipe location mode for the operation with UM112 impact device. But today we're going to work in water leakage detection mode. There are not so many settings available in uh, this menu. You can adjust the brightness of the screen by using left and right arrow keys. And basically this is it. This is all you can do with uh, these controls at this moment. In order to start the location, we have to press measure button in the top left corner of the keyboard, which is here. After pressing measurement button, you can see the main operating screen of the receiver. In the top left corner you can see gain in decibels and you can adjust it by pressing left and right sensitivity buttons. Let us add some gain, for example 10 dB. In the upper middle of the screen you can see the whole band of supported acoustic frequencies recognized by this device in uh, water leakage detection mode. Then you can see the visual scale of the indicated signal level. It can be adjusted with up and down arrow keys. This is not the gain, it's just a visual amplification of indicated signal. And on the top right corner you can see the headphones picture which adjusts the volume coming from the acoustic sensor directly to your headphones. You can adjust this volume by using left and right arrow keys. In order to locate the leakage, first of all, we have to hear the actual sound which is coming from below the ground surface. So we have to place the acoustic sensor, which is basically ground microphone, above the pipe. And then we have to switch the visual indication of our receiver to spectrum mode. Let us press the indication button once and once more. When you have enabled the spectrum mode, you can see all the sounds which are recognized by the acoustic sensor. The supported broadband is indicated in the upper middle uh, part of the screen and the black segments of the spectrum represent the constant noise which is recognized by the device. White stripes represent the unwanted noise uh, without constant sound. So in order to locate a particular leakage we have to cut off all the noises and keep the signal on, on a constant level. I will add some gain in order to make the signal more visible and you can see that our noise is situated in this particular area. In order to cut off this noise we have to apply certain digital filter. In order to filter the acoustic signal we have to press filter button and by using left and right arrow keys we have to adjust the filters in order to cut off all the unwanted noises. Let us press F button in the middle of our keyboard and use right arrow button to cut off 
all the noises from left to right. You can see that indication on the spectrum is changing and uh, blank uh, segments are disappearing and only the noise which we need currently is staying in the receiver indication. Then we press F button once again and we will cut off everything from right to left. As you can see when we have applied the filter, the device recognizes only the noise in the band of the filter. It means that we can move on to the location of the leakage uh, with this filter applied. In order to do that, we have to switch the indication of the receiver back to the scale mode. To do that, we have to press indication button once. You can see that we're having a scale which is getting higher each time the volume of uh, the detected noise is also getting higher. It means that all we have to do is to locate the loudest point of uh, the leakage of the running water on a particular pipe. So the process will look like this. Uh, you place the acoustic sensor above the pipe, wait for some time, uh, usually it is 3 to 4 seconds. Then uh, you see the number in the middle of the screen, which represents the strength of uh, current acoustic signal with the filter we have applied before. And your goal is to locate the maximum indication of this numeric value. So, for example, we're having 3 to 5 in particular mode and if I will be speaking louder, the signal level will increase to 18 or 23 or even more and it means that we're approaching the source of the signal, the source of this noise. Also, you can see that sometimes a black line, a black curved line appears on the screen. It means that the input of the acoustic sensor is overloaded and the signal is too loud to be recognized. In order to avoid that, you have to decrease the sensitivity of your receiver. Let us do this. You can see the value in dB changes and uh, the indication of uh, the receiver adjusts to a normal level. There is one more important thing when you are locating the leakage. The lower black line shouldn't be 100% full. There should be some white space, blank space, which means that your input is not overloaded. This is very important. So now uh, we have seen how to set the AP27 receiver for water leakage detection. Before doing that, be sure that your pipe is laying not deeper than 3 meters below ground surface and that pressure of uh, the water inside the pipe is 2 bars or more. If uh, these two conditions are not met, you have to adjust the pressure inside the pipe in order to make the noise of the leakage recognizable by the device. Also, I strongly recommend you to use the utility tracing equipment. It can be Techno EC, cable and pipe locator or any other equipment in order to find out the direction and the position of the pipe which you are going to inspect with water leak detector. So today uh, we have completed the training for AP27 setting for water leakage detection and next time we're going to talk about cable and pipe location setting for this particular receiver. Stay with us, check out our new videos, and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in utility location equipment. Thank you very much and bye-bye.